trust your uh, resource like we'll be preparing with one resource then we'll be giving a mock test then we see there is a lot of uh, missing uh, missing chunks of syllabus from whatever resource we have completed then we get anxious then we go behind another resource no it doesn't work like that so if we are doing uh, more, uh, medieval history and we have come across some question regarding vijayanagaras and you realize that it's not clearly covered in your book why go after another book just go through that uh, go for that specific point either in google or some other source collect 200 300 words of uh, notes and just stick it in whatever resource you have so this is uh, better like stick to your resource trust your resource and fill the gaps so this is how you can uh, you can overcome the syllabus gaps and prelims coming to mains uh, i would like to uh, talk about uh, the similar thing regarding resources keep limited resources for mains it is more required than prelims for mains because in mains it is not the game of knowledge it is the game of recollection so in mains uh, it is uh, no one sees how much knowledge you are dumping in the paper but it is uh, important how many relevant points you are drawing from various dimensions so if you have limited content in your head which is ready to access then you can recollect from various points and write an answer in mains substantiation is very important for uh, so keep a limited set of data points don't go after multiple data points for example you are talking about child education uh, you will say child education will help in uh, uh, making them attain better employment opportunities just have a data regarding some survey acr survey or something don't go after multiple surveys just have a acr survey every time you revise this topic just keep the same survey read until two de one decimal point so this is what you can do for mains Oh